वेलकम टू दिस एपीसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के इस कम्यूनिटी प्रोफाइल सैगमेंट में असी मुलाकात करावे तो डॉक्टर जगेशर दास जेडे कि एक मैडिकल डॉक्टर रहे हैं तो उस तो अलावा एक कबीर एसोसीएशन के प्रेजिडेंट भी ने इन वालों बहुत सारिया किताबा भी लिखिया गई ने नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फाइव के कैनेडा आए थ कि इन्हों एक्सपीरियंस रहे हैं तो उन्होंने एक्सपीरियंस तो की सीख सकते हैं आओ गलबात करके जानकारी लेने डॉक्टर जगेशर दास ने वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम सर थैंक यू थैंक यू Uh, you are the second indian doctor in british columbia yeah, yeah. and uh, in 1955 when you came over here from uh, guyana tell us what was the uh, you know environment at that time uh, how did you were you wanting to become a doctor or it happened by chance well it happened by chance okay <laughs> because my parents died uh, when i was little about mm -hmm. 12 13 and i lived with my elder sister uh, at first uh, after my primary school mm -hmm. I went to do goldsmith work. Okay. I became a goldsmith for a few years, right. making filigree jewelers and so on. But there was not much future, mm -hmm. and so I began to be tailor. Right. So I became I learned tailoring. Okay. And this was with my brother-in-law, with whom I lived. Right. He was a tailor, so mm -hmm. I really thought I might as well learn the tailoring trade. So I did that for a while. Okay. I used to make all these dress suits. Oh and wow! So on. <laughs> yeah. But then I used to go to the library right. and borrow books and read. Mm -hmm. And my brother-in-law was very observant. He said, I, I like to study. So he said, why not go to high school? Okay. And so then I went to high school. It was about five years after primary school that I went to high school. Mm -hmm. And so from then on, <coughs> I did my um, Cambridge exams and London exams and so on. and then i applied to become a doctor it was only after i start went to high school okay. that they had ever become a doctor that your interest towards this side uh, started yeah. happening okay yeah because i was just going to be a tradesman <laughs> of some sort <laughs> how did you happen to come to canada <coughs> well at first i was going to go to the west indies university of west indies right what is in jamaica they had a medical school there but guyana did not have any okay so i had to travel out mm -hmm. So uh, when I got to Trinidad then there were some obstacles for me to get to the states I was going to go to the states first right but some <coughs> immigration whatever I didn't get there so I stayed in Trinidad and applied mm -hmm. to other universities UBC was one of them Calcutta was another one okay and Edinburgh was another one and one I think it was Belfast if okay. I remember So I applied to all these. I got admitted to UBC and I got admitted to Calcutta. Right. Now I had to decide should I come to Canada or go to India. Mm -hmm. So I decided perhaps I should come to Canada. Right. I had heard good things about Canada. Okay. So this was 1955 I got here right. to enter UBC. Mm -hmm. So when you came over here at that time and when you started uh, practicing there weren't many Indians over here and there weren't many people of uh, our uh, uh you know from country from where we came so what kind of experiences did you face at that time was there any kind of racism over here you found or uh, everything went well with you i think uh, everything went very well with me mm -hmm. i did not face any criticism or racism fortunately mm -hmm. and i know that uh, there was a lot of it sometime in the 70s or thereabouts i'm aware we got had lots of patients who were facing it right but personally i didn't have i i may barely remember one instance um maybe in the late 60s one lady said something like in an emergency at the hospital uh, why don't i go back where i come from mm -hmm. uh, but it didn't bother me i left it at that i haven't had any more problem right and a lot of my patients of course in those days there were white people mm -hmm. but then indian people came a lot more as immigrants right and my practice shifted gradually over the years from mostly white people then to indian people right and so you were a general practitioner a general practice yeah okay. and i did surgery to some surgery okay yeah so this has been you know at that time when we compare canada of that period and with today there's a lot of difference now 
the kind of challenges what you went through. You were 85 years young, <laughs> and the challenges you went through, and today everything is there. Yeah. Uh, what do you feel? What has been your experience? How the community has grown over here? How we have accomplished a lot of things? So when you see from your perspective, what would you like to tell us? What is your take on our community over here? Uh, I think my take on this community is that um, the community has grown right. substantially. Mm -hmm. And it has become more or less self-contained in that lesser Indian community. There's everything available that's mm. Indian from all the professions and businesses and everything, groceries, movies, everything is in. When I came here, there was none of it. Right. There was not an Indian movie, not an Indian store, not an Indian restaurant, mm -hmm. nothing. And so as people came more and more as immigrants, the society began to bring in everything else that's service, of, that's service right. to the people. So all the professions and so on started. Uh, there are all kinds of Indian doctors and lawyers and bookkeepers and everything else now. Right. So I can see that the society, Indian community, has grown substantially mm -hmm. in every way. What we hear is, Dr. Das, that uh, during that period, uh, though the community was less, but there used to be more love, affection in the community, and uh, now, no doubt, our numbers have increased, but we don't find uh, that kind of similarity existing now. Uh, do you, are you concerned about it? Well, what can I say? I mean, society has a way of evolving. Right. And it will evolve in its way. Mm -hmm. And I think because there are more people um, there's the personal touch mm -hmm. is not as well established now right. as it was then. Right. Because then people got to know one another a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I can say like when I was practicing on Scott Road in the 60s or early 70s, mm -hmm. the policemen knew me. And they have any emergency or some, some medical situation, they will sometimes call me. Right. And when I drive along the road, they will record, oh, that's Dr. Das going by. Right. But it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> because there are so many more people, and you know, uh, people are more, um, you know. Busy with themselves. Yeah, right. yeah. You have a wide experience of life. So yeah. when we see, when you see back in your life, uh, what is uh, the essential of life, what you have taken out of it? Uh, to live a happy, prosperous life, what do you feel? <coughs> what should be there? Well, that, that's a very good question in the sense that what's the value mm -hmm. of human being? What do we value in our life? Right. Okay. I do a lot of more spiritual work. I mean, I'm a medical doctor, of course, but I'm retired. Right. But from what I can gather, we should not focus entirely on the physical being, mm -hmm. which is what most of us do anyway to support and look after the right. physical health. But we're also mental beings, we're spiritual beings, and we have to take care of those things also. Right. So essentially it boils down to the fact that uh, there's a human value to life, right. and this is a spiritual value. Mm -hmm. And if we have that spiritual value, it will percolate down to the physical also. Right. But if you're just merely physical, you have no concept of spiritual, you don't care about it, mm -hmm. then your life becomes more mechanistic, more materialistic. Right. And this is one of the troubles of society, is the materialism and the consumerism. Mm -hmm. And that um, spirituality and it's compassion and uh, the, the things that go along with spirituality, right. it, it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. How did your interest uh, come into spirituality? And uh, you have written a lot of books and you're a uh, president of the Kabir Association of Canada also. So what intrigued you towards Kabirji? We'll take a short break, come back and learn a little bit more about you. Okay. Thank you. When the talk was about Dr. Jageshwar Das, he was born in 1985 in Canada, and he was born in UBC, and he was born in medical school, and he was born in other doctors in his community. He was born in Dr. Gil, who had been born in the first place. डॉक्टर साहब ने कहा कि थे आके जद्दोजहद करनी पड़ी पहला यह गोल्ड स्मिथ वजह काम करते रहे फिर टेलर वजह भी काम किया पर इन आदे ब्रदर इन लॉ ने देखा कि इन आदे इंटरेस्ट पढ़ाई वाले पास से तेज पास से इन्होंने परस्यू किया तो ये आज होन डॉक्टर बन गए इसी तो होने रिटायर्ड हैं ये 
ਜੀਵਨ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਇਹੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਪਾਸੇ ਹੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਧਿਆਨ ਨਾ ਦਈਏ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਵਾਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਅਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਐਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵੱਲ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਧਿਆਨ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਬੈਲੈਂਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਬਣਾ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਿਤਾਬਾਂ ਵੀ ਲਿਖੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਬੀਰ ਜੀ ਬਾਰੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਐਕਸਪਰਟ ਨੇ ਆਓ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਣੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਬਦੀਲੀ ਲਿਆ JP Transmissions oh one stop total auto care center hai jithe tonu wajib qeematan te quality service ditti jandi hai transmission repair rebuild automatic te standard clutches differential general repair har qisam diyan domestic imported te european gaddiyan di service 1 ton to 5 ton truck zuzu te hino layi special scanner twadi gaddi da pehla multi point check kita janda hai te fir repair kiti jandi hai best service layi aaj hi aao 8951152 street sari ya fir call karo pav mahal shambhu 6045891217 ਸੋ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਜਗੇਸ਼ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਹਨ ਕਬੀਰ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਜੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਆਉ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਣੇ ਸੋ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਦਾਸ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂਰ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਵਿਦ ਕਬੀਰ ਜੀ ਮਾਈ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਵਰ ਕਬੀਰ ਪੰਥ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਇਨ ਦੇ ਵੈਂਟ ਫਰਮ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਓਕੇ ਟੂ ਗਾਇਨ and they were following the kabir tradition right so i was brought up in it okay and so i took interest in that i studied it actually i did more studying on kabir since i'm in canada okay because i have the better facilities to right. study here in guyana a third world country right. you don't have the facility mm-hmm. but i learned from my parents mm-hmm. my father especially i was sort of a assistant to a mahant or a priest so my father knew a lot of Kabir and he had books and so on. Okay. So I learned from him. Right. And then as I came here I studied more and more. Mhm. So uh you started uh, delving more into spirituality and for Kabir ji you have written a lot of books also. And this was your research into this. Uh not uh, that that's being busy as a medical doctor and taking out time writing books and getting involved with spirituality. Uh how did you take out time what was your mode of operators you know how did you operate well when i first got into kabir sahib's teaching here mm-hmm. there was a friend at ubc right. he had a book by tagore 100 poems of kabir mm-hmm. i was very interested in seeing that in english right and uh, that got me interested over here to study more mm-hmm. and then as i got um, into the getting more books like on kabir to in order to study it carefully i went to a panditji mm-hmm. uh, the official hindu parishad in vancouver right to learn about uh, hindi and the scriptures uh, because i was not first to first in hindi either okay. <laughs> because my language was english right so i went to him and uh, i studied the bijak of kabir with him okay and i made manuscripts written it all out right and then i used to do that every thursday okay because i didn't hold office on thursday mm-hmm. so i went to him for a couple of hours every thursday i did that for a long time mm-hmm. and i got uh, the all the bijak translated into english right and that is how i was able to bring this out into english now wonderful uh, with your experience of life dr das tell us what does success mean to you success <laughs> and you know, the how do we look at success what are we measuring mm-hmm. um success means is to have a healthy life right healthy relationships mm-hmm. emotionally sound right. balanced mind mm-hmm. and to have a devotional attitude to be generous in spirit right to be humble mm-hmm. and to accept there's a superior being and we are all like puppets in the hands of the superior being right uh we say god and once we recognize that then we can see the brotherhood mm-hmm. we say god is our parent right. and god loves all of us but um being children of god mm-hmm. we sort of created divisions as kabir sahib has said and i'm sure you're familiar with it awal allah nur upaya kudrat ke sabande right ek nur se sab jag uthe kaun bhale ko bande right so 
he taught that God dwells in our own hearts. Mm -hmm. And Tere Saheb Haigat Mahi Bahar Naina Pyokhole. Why do you go look outside when God is the very consciousness right. that you are? Mm -hmm. And if you want to really know God, you can't go look outside to find God anywhere. There's no place where you find he is God. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but if you search within yourself, right. then you will find God. So right. it's a turn your vision inward. Right. God is right there. You just have to find God. Finally, what would be your advice to the youngsters? Everybody wants to be successful, but as you have described yeah. what success is. But today there is a race. Uh, we are ready to uh, shed our principles and values and reach that so-called destination, what we have said. And we are finding in the community also it's a major issue right now about gangs, violence, our youngsters, a lot of them uh, being weaned towards this side. What would be your advice to them? I know this gang activity is a bad thing. You know, what value system are young people growing up with? Mm. Do their parents have good values? Right. If they go to church or go to gurdwaras or wherever, are they learning anything that's useful? Mm. Can they translate anything that they're learning from the scriptures? Uh, can they translate that into their own life? Mm -hmm. Can they be good examples for the children? Right. And then children have to be molded from when they're small into certain values, mm -hmm. and the parents have to live it and also teach it to the children. Right. What is the important thing in life? Mm -hmm. And it has to be pointed out from when they're young, right. getting into drugs and smoking, alcohol and so on. They're not good things in life. Mm -hmm. And children have to grow up with that understanding. Right. Definitely the child, child must feel, I don't want that in my life. Right. I want to be something better. Mm -hmm. And if they grow up with that psychology, I, I think um, it will be better off in the long run for everybody. Uh, let's go for a short break, Dr. Das, and we'll be back and learn a little bit more about you, about your life experiences and how we can take advantage of this. We'll learn after this short break. Dr. Das has said that the most important thing is 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 that the most जिथे मेडिकल डॉक्टर दा काम करते सी पर उस दे नाल नाल इन्होंने पूरा समा कड्या धर्म वास्ते भी ते बहुत सारी किताबा कबीर जी दे उत्ते लिखिया ने इन्होंने कहा कि कामयाबी जो है ए सक्सेस नु मेजर करना एक वक्रे नजरी नाल सानू देखना पड़ेगा सक्सेस सिर्फ पैसा ही नहीं साडे जीवन विच किन्नी संतुष्टि है किन्ना को असी एक दूसरे नाल हेल्दी रिलेशंस बना के रखदे हां किवें असी समाज विच विचरदे हां की कुछ असी करदे हां ए सारी चीजों ते निर्भर करता है ते खास तौर ते यंगस्टर्स दे बारे जेड़ा के आज असी चिंतित हां गैंग्स वायलेंस दी गल करदे हां तो ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮਾਪਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਅਹਿਮ ਰੋਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਐਜ਼ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲਸ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਕੋ ਸਮਾਂ ਕੱਢ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਕੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਬੌਂਡਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਰ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੜੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਹੋਰ ਕੋਈ ਰਸਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਾਪਸ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਝਟਕਾ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਹਰ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਭਵਿੱਖ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵਿਤ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਿੰਘ ਥਿੰਦ ਐਂਡ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਸ ਨੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨਲ ICBC ਅਤੇ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੇਸਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੇ ਕਈ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਹੱਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਰਾਖੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਕੋਰਟ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਤੱਕ ਵੱਡੇ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੈਰਵੀ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਤਜਰਬਾ ਹੈ ਹੈਲੋ ਆਮ ਅਮਨਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਥਿੰਦ ਯੂਰ ਲਾਇਰਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਵੀ ਕੇਅਰ 604 543 8386 ਤੇ ਫੋਨ ਕਰੋ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਜਗੇਸ਼ਰ ਦਾਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਕੀ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਸ ਨੇ ਆਓ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦਾ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਟ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਮੈਜ਼ਰਡ ਇਨ ਸਮ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਇਨ ਟੂਡੇਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਸਮ ਅਦਰ ਗਰਾਉਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਓਨਲੀ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲਿਸਟਿਕ ਅਚੀਵਮੈਂਟਸ ਆਰ ਕੰਸਿਡਰਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਦਾਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਡਨ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਅਚੀਵਮੈਂਟਸ ਟੂ ਯਰ ਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਟ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਮੋਸਟ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡ ਆਫ most proud of is that i know my own self <laughs> i know i'm a spiritual being i don't have to go searching and have doubts about myself right and when i know myself as i think i do now mm -hmm. that i can see myself in everybody else uh is the same spirit the atma that we are mm -hmm. is the same in everybody and now i am more cognizant of this fact 
Right. So I don't see like there has to be jat and kas and uh, different right. divisions. They're all superficial. Mm -hmm. When you have a reality, you can add a lot of layers and coverings, right. many of that based on ignorance, mm -hmm. but they're not necessary. It's like the truth hidden behind different curtains. The truth is the soul that you are, the spirit, right. the consciousness that you are. Mm -hmm. There's an intelligence and there's the instruments being used by this consciousness. Right. These instruments are the body, the mind, the emotions, the feelings, the intelligence. Right. These are all like tools for this divine consciousness mm -hmm. to use in order to make this life successful. Mm -hmm. Towards the end, what would be your message to our viewers today? With your experience, uh, you have, as you said, the most important thing, what you feel is your contribution is that you've discovered yourself. Uh, everybody, uh, we are religious people, so-called in quotes, we claim yes, ourselves yes. to be religious people. We go to our churches and gurdwaras and mandirs. But despite that, there is so much of tension existing. There is so much of uh, distrust. There's so much of disharmony existing yes. in the society. Uh, to make this society a better place, what should be done and what needs to be done? To make society better, granted their scriptures, their religious teachers, their churches, and people often, as you mentioned, go to these places. Right. But you have to carry God within you. Right. There's one writer named Michael Nemi. He said, he who does not find a temple in his own heart mm -hmm. will not find his heart in any temple. Right. So it means that you have to have that awareness that I'm a divine being. Mm -hmm. And when you have that awareness, and you go to the church, you go to listen to some lectures, or Gyani or whoever, then you can absorb that message. Mm -hmm. Or else it becomes just an empty show. Right. Oh, today is uh, Gurdwara day, today is church day. You dress up and you go, you listen, bow down, the mechanical things. But that you needs to be put into practice also, how you yeah. are putting that into practice, helping others and doing the right work. Uh, that's right. Uh, what is life for anyway? Mm -hmm. To support yourself and do permart work for others. Mm -hmm. If you can do that based on brotherly love and fatherhood of God, if you can do that, that is what we need right. to make our life successful, to be spiritual and allow that spiritual life to manifest in what we are outside physically. Mm -hmm. Nautadas, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for your time and best wishes for a healthy life. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dr. Das ne jo sare naal galbat kiti jis tarah ne dasya eh kabir panthi han te ena da akhir de vich jo message hai oh hi hai ke change insaan baniye. Assi divine consciousness jo hai us to assi oh ha assi atma ha te atma nu hor bahut sara kam ditta gaya sharir sanu is karke ditta gaya ke assi us nu sahi kam us to kariye dusre di seva kar sakiye. ਧਰਮ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਮਤਲਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਮੰਦਰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਸੁਣਾਣਾ ਪਰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਦਾ ਆਧਾਰ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਦੂਸਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਨੀ ਤੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਬਿਹਤਰ ਬਣਾਣਾ ਇਹੀ ਧਰਮ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਕੋਈ ਸਿਖਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੇ ਇਨਸਾ